Secondary nesting. Let us apply a material to the lamp. There's our nest. Let's just force it to use a very simple nest. Right, that's a basic nest. Quick look. Yep. A big strip down the right hand side. We could add another part into there. Ah uh, yes, it's a basic nest. Need a primary secondary nest. Let's put our part in there. For you to have a secondary nest, the part has to have a primary layout first. So, we apply the same material to the tongue. So it now has a primary nest. We can then go to our other material and apply the tongue to that nest. And now we get a secondary nest. So if we look at our tongue, as our tongue nest, but also you'll notice the secondary tab now links and shows you what the secondary nest is. And there's a list of extra parts in that secondary nest. And there is a list of 13 and a half pairs of parts added somewhere else than the main nest, which is that one. And there's our main primary for the other one. Okay, that one doesn't have a secondary nest. A new introduction is the wrapping of secondary nest over the top or across the bottom as well as down the side. For example, this is set up for secondary nest and if I allow the parts to rotate slightly we see the parts go up the side and then down the side and across the top. All depends upon the geometry.